Hey you guys, welcome back to the channel. It's Trey, and I want to talk about the multiverse again because now DC done introduced this linear verse that explains that everything that happened prior to 2021 is in canon. All of the stories, everything from each alternate world reality is all canon it's all the same there's nothing different it's all in one linear timeline because of course i'm always questioned how in the world batman and superman and wonder woman existed in the 1930s and it's 2021 today and they seem like they haven't really aged that much or how certain characters are kids now they're teenagers or young adults depending on which character it is because you know i always wanted to see that kind of nonsense it's so stupid it's so lazy i am so over the nonsense like it just doesn't make any darn sense how many times are we going to keep going through this nonsense dc i already told you you had a way to get out of it you had an opportunity to get out of it and you didn't get out of it and all you keep doing is doubling down on the stupidity you know, stupid is what stupid does. And that's what you guys are doing. We don't need an unnecessary explanation about why Batman or certain characters have not aged. It's a sliding timeline. Let it be a sliding timeline. Who the hell cares? And on top of that, it doesn't even make any sense because some of the stories that you have are literally one-shot stories in another alternate universe. Now you're saying Injustice Superman also happened at the same time that Red Sun Superman happened. At also at the same time that the main present timeline Superman happened, but also at the same time New 52 Superman happened, but also at the same time that post-crisis and pre-crisis Superman happened at the same time. That doesn't make any kind of sense. That makes absolutely no sense. Stop being stupid with the nonsense. Just let it go. Let all of it go. Stop trying to explain stuff. Stop treating your readers for the past couple of years like they stupid just because new readers come in you don't have to double down and explain anything for them i didn't need any explanation when i got into comic books i picked up a comic book i did my research because when you're reading a book if you have the intelligence you will go and find ways of understanding what's going on you know, of course, you go to your local comic book store or you go to your local whoever, any people who know about comic books that can explain stuff. And then, you know, there's also the Internet. There's also a library that you can go to that, you know, explain the history of comic books, all that kind of stuff. So it makes no sense that we're at this point where we have to dumb down everything because a few people aren't getting it. Or just not comprehend it. No offense at this point. It seems like you're basically saying your audience is too stupid to understand what's going on. Or because some of your audience members are too lazy to go back in the past and find what the information they need. You know, I'm sorry. That's not how that works. This is why manga and anime is more successful. They don't sit there and explain anything towards their the new audience members. When new audience come in, that's them. They come in, they read or whatever and stuff like that. And if they want to go back, guess what? They'll put a little um, highlight of check last issue or this happened in this chapter or whatever. Other than that, that's it. They're not going to sit up there and do a continuity reboot, a relaunch, a reboot just because a few people aren't getting it. It's annoying and it's dumb. The linear verse is complete idioticy. It is real ignorant, to be honest. I'm just, you know, I just don't get that. I don't know how many times I'm going to have this conversation about the multiverse. Stop with the multiverse because now you're abusing the multiverse to come up with lame reasons to make stupid changes. You know, you you got to stop. You got to stop with the nonsense let it go like frozen or something but this is completely dumb you know first you in first you said the omniverse you introduced the omniverse then you said that everything in omniverse is first no first you introduce um earth two then you double down and, and introduce earth three then you did that and you introduced the entire multiverse right then you did crisis on infinite earth Crisis on Infinite Earth blew up all the multiverse and consolidated into one Earth, New Earth. 
then you did um infinite crisis that brought back the multiverse and gave the characters that were refugees on new earth back their origins from those earths that were destroyed then final crisis you explained where you explained you um made it where the heroes are aware of the multiverse presence returning okay cool then you do flashpoint you reboot the entire continuity no build up no nothing then you have pandora down behind telling um, flash that wildstorm vertigo needs to be merged back with the dc universe because it was being missing pieces or whatever and stuff like that then you come to find out that pandora was manipulated by dr manhattan and dr manhattan wanted to play around to see what would happen if he removed certain pieces out of dc continuity to see how dc came up because you don't want to take the responsibility of wall i mean not wally west but flash barry allen screwing up the dc timeline then you do features in that shows a what if alternate parallel of earth 2 new 52 staying on the present earth and it screws up everything then you introduce convergence where um T talos takes little beats bits and pieces from pre prehistory of dc universe throughout different parts of the multiverse and get them to fight then you introduce dcu where you was like screw it continuity be damn let's just tell the stories how we want to that didn't work either then you said okay screw that let's reintroduce wally west let's show that it wasn't barry allen's fault it was really dr manhattan's fault he screwed up everything and he took away the years from pre new 52 new earth continuity so we're going to try to bring that back you start bringing that that stuff back but then you said screw doomsday clock let's do death metal i mean dark knight's metal which brought in the dark multiverse and all of the crazy batmans for no reason then you said let's destroy the source wall the source wall got uh, perpetua and all of those gods and anti-monitor and the forager all of that crap led up into another crisis event which was death metal death metal ended where the omniverse is present the omega versus at present now everything is in canon people can go from different earths just because anything can happen or whatever and now you're introducing the linear universe where you're saying all of that stuff actually is in one time it all happened at once or it happened it happened within the certain times because characters age slowly that makes absolutely no sense you see how dumb that sounds remember all of this is within the past 10 years of most of that stuff right out once you get the flashpoint it's been reboots relaunches retooling after another one because you you screwed up doomsday clock because apparently the folks at dc didn't know what what was going on because dc's dumb behind had fired everybody that was um that knew what was going on with doomsday clock besides jeff johns and um gary frank like you you see how ignorant that sound you see how stupid that is now you're introducing another another unnecessary twist to this whole entire multiverse of madness bullcrap that nobody asked you to i already told you your easy way out get rid of the last 10 years retcon it i am sorry use use what jeff johns did with doomsday clock return to pre new 52 post crisis dc i'm going to say this again because most of everything is based around pre new 52 everything that we see now from these superheroes where they're pulling things from are is mostly from pre new 52 timeline they're not really pulling that much from golden age or new 52 yeah they might pull a little bit but for the most part everything is being pulled from post crisis pre new 52 dc universe that should be your main timeline that should be your main focus that classic modern style of dc all of this nonsense that you guys are doing isn't helping. All it's doing is overcomplicating something that doesn't need to be overcomplicated. How many times is somebody going to have to tell you this? Stop being stupid, DC. Just let this mess go and stop treating your audience and your readers like they're too stupid to understand what's going on. People know what a sliding timeline is. People know that these characters have been around for years. 
y'all the only ones that haven't gotten in your thick head or because you're listening to a few people you mean the few people that ain't reading comic books or just got into comic books but your audience that's been here for years is telling you it's fine we get it come on dc you got to do better than that because this linear verse this omniverse nonsense when everything matters nothing matters to be honest you're literally killing the purpose of why would i be invested when something can change something might not be canon but then you say everything is canon so what will matter at the end road because what you're showing in future state you're saying that that's canon okay if that's canon why would i want to continue to read dc comic books because you're leading to a dark future that ends terribly so again why would i care you see how you made yourself uncarable there is no reason to invest time into it anymore if all you're saying is everything everything matters what is the point of the investment because something's got to something's got to be something you cannot keep going around having stories just because with no continuity so like what are, what are we doing dc please tell me what we're doing because right now you're being stupid you're being stupid cut the crap dc seriously just cut it stop i do that's all i want you to do just stop go back retcon the last 10 years and let's just pretend like it never happened but yeah those are my thoughts tell me what you guys think in the comment section below and i'll catch you guys later peace out